<clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Giving all honor to God. Welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels. And today we're coming out of the book of Isaiah, 26, chapter, third verse. That's Isaiah 26 and 3. And it reads out of the NIV, will you, you will keep in perfect peace those whose mind are steadfast because they trust in you. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Mm. Now, <clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is a prophet. And Isaiah has received hundreds of prophecies. And he's prophesied about Israel. He's prophesied about what's going to happen to Israel, what happens to Israel later on. He prophesies about Jesus down on the cross, Jesus being born. And here he's telling us, he's talking about God. He says, you will keep in perfect peace. I, want, I had to pause on that. It says, you will keep in perfect peace. Perfect peace. That's what we should be aiming for. Perfect peace. You will keep in perfect peace. Now you is God. God will keep in perfect peace. That's what it says. God will keep in perfect peace. Those whose minds are are steadfast because they trust you. That verse says a lot. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust you. Now, we need to look at this sentence and do the things backwards <clears throat> to achieve perfect peace. The first thing we need to do is we need to trust in God. Because I said, you as God, in this story, it says, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you or because they trust in God. So we're going to trust in God. That's the first thing we've got to do. We've got to trust in God. And as we trust in God, and as we trust in God and start believing him and start seeing him work in our lives, our mind, our mind becomes steadfast. Our mind becomes steadfast. And that, that's a point that we reach with God, that we understand that we can stand with him in all situations, that our mind is set on the ways of God. Our minds are set on the fact that regardless of what situation we're in, God is with us. You know, he drives fear away from us. Things that most men fear, most women fear, we don't fear. Because our minds are steadfast on God. And once we reach that point, and, and you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy. I mean, this, this is something that takes prayer, okay? But this is something, again, it's the trust in God. The more you trust God, the quicker you will get there. Now, I'm not saying it'll be easy, but I said it will, it will be quicker. The more you trust God, the quicker you will get there. Now, it, it, may not, it may not be easy. It may be even harder. But when you trust God, he takes you there. He builds you to that point. You can't do it on your own. We've got to take that first step of trust in God. And once we begin to trust in God, okay, he brings to us a perfect peace. He brings to us that perfect, his perfect peace. Now, what is God's perfect peace? God's perfect peace is just us. Trusting him and understanding that whatever's going on in our lives, that God has got our back on it. That we don't worry about things like the people of the world worry about things. We walk in that perfect peace that God has given us. And it's like kind of like, imagine walking with your eyes closed. That's what it is. You're walking with your eyes closed and you trust God and he's guiding you and you hear all this stuff going on. And, and, and all this commotion, but you've got your eyes closed and you're trusting God. And as you hear all these things, all this crashing, all this thunder, things falling and breaking all around you, God is guiding you through it. And nothing is touching you. Nothing is touching you. So picture that. Okay, now open your eyes. Now when you open your eyes, not only are you hearing those things that's going on around you, you're not seeing them. You're seeing things coming straight at you. You're seeing things coming from the side. You're seeing, you're seeing things coming to attack you. You're seeing obstacles in front of you. But even though you see it, 
you still trust the God that's getting you through it. Now, the problem is we now want to move on our own. We now want to duck and die, but we've got to trust God. That's walking in God's perfect peace. <clears throat> Go back to when you close your eyes because you can't see and you're not sure where those noise and where that, where, where that thunder and where that breaking, where the danger is, you get your eyes closed, it's easy for you to be led. It's easy for you to be led. <clears throat> but now that we open our eyes and we can see, now we want to react to things. But we got to go back to that state where we're going to close our eyes and trust God. Okay, Lord, I don't know why I'm in this mess. Lord, I don't know why things are falling around me before. Father, I don't know why this huge mountain is of doubt is in front of me. I don't know why this huge mountain of trouble is in, tr in front of me. I don't know why this huge mountain of debt is in front of me. I don't know why this, why this huge mountain of marital trouble is in front of me. But, Father, I'm going to trust you, Lord. I'm going to trust you and I'm going to keep walking. And I'm going to keep walking. And as long as you trust God and you live in that life of God, you're going to see that mountain become a hill. That mountain becomes a mole hill, and you just step over. Okay, that mountain is not, it, it, you know, and as you get closer to the mountain, because you're trusting God, the mountain is getting smaller. See, most of the time in this world, when, when we look at things through our own eyes, we trust in our own ability. The closer we get to that mountain, the bigger it gets. It starts to loom over us. We start to worry, get confused and concerned, and, 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 and we can't figure out what to do. And then we call on God out of fear, out of fear. Oh, Lord, I need your help, Lord. I can't do this by myself now. I need you. I need you, Lord. You call him out of fear. But what God wants to see is when we first see that mountain, oh, Lord. Oh, Father, I see that thing coming at me, Lord, but I trust you. And we're not, we're not yelling at him. We're not calling him out of fear. We call him out of love, his love for us. And we know that as we get closer to that mountain, it's going to get smaller. Perfect peace. That's what we're aiming for. Ooh, that's all the time that I have. You know, time runs fast when you, when you, when you, ooh, my God is moving in you. But uh, hey, that's all the time that I got. Hey, perfect peace. That's what we're aiming for. Steadfast, trusting in God. That's the first thing we got to do. That's all the time that I have. Hey, have a great day. God bless you. God loves you, and I love you too. We'll talk to you tomorrow.